What if I told you there's a autograph session for the Japanese voice actor of Merida coming up? He doesn't sign a lot of stuff in the US. Almost, I don't know if this is even his first time here. Autograph started 8 a.m. How early would you line up for that autograph? How early would you line up to get the ticket for that autograph? So let's say 5 a.m. That's pretty reasonable. You're there early, three hours early. You wait there in line. Not good enough. Let's say midnight the day before. Not good enough. Now let's go all the way further. 5 p.m. the day before. You might be able to get it. You know, who knows? Not good enough. Now let's go all the way to 1 p.m. The time the ticketing booth closes the previous day. You're able to line up for the next day. That is exactly what was happening at this year's Anime Expo. It was an insane sight to see one person holding a spot for 30 others. Groups setting up almost like army barracks at the front of the lines to ensure that only them get the tickets and nobody else. People then reselling those tickets, reselling the item that they immediately got signed on eBay the moment after it happens. A whole myriad of drama, security line, people cut in line, two lines forming, people just sliding in right in the front. Let's talk Anime Expo 2023 and their autograph ticketing system. So there it was, Saturday morning, the first day that you could get your chance at getting a signature from the Japanese voice actor Marita, who voices loved characters like Ichigo Kurosaki, one of my favorites of all time. I mean, look at the shirt. I thought, hey, it starts at 8 a.m., roll, roll up at 5 a.m., we'll get pretty close to the front. They're doing 75 guaranteed autographs, 50 is on the standby wait list, and that's if the Japanese voice actor, any of the voice actors, the guests of honors, have time to sign your stuff. Now, a lot of them did not have time to sign their stuff because they have panels to go to, they have other obligations, and you're only supposed to get one item signed. I roll up, have my girlfriend with me in tow, we could at least get two things signed. There's two of us there. It'll be good to go. It'll be amazing. I got two skate decks, one for my boy Jose. He loves bleach. We, we love bleach since we were little. It's going to be amazing. The line is wrapped all the way from the ticketing booth to underneath the convention center, zigzagging back and forth at 5 a.m. It was an insane sight to see. I thought personally, you know what? Bleach, not getting so much love at this year's Anime Expo. I might have a good chance of still getting that signature. It still might be really good. I know a lot of people there for the Bungo Stray Dogs, Arthur. There was a hentai artist that a lot of people were there for as well. I thought, I don't see anybody dressed up in a bleach cosplay. Not a single person. We should, we should be fine. I don't think a lot of people are going to go for it. Here's where the drama begins. Day one. I'm talking Saturday. This is the first time you get a signature. That is when the drama began because turns out one guy was waiting since before the convention even began. And supposedly, you know, he was waiting in groups to kind of rotate in and out on shifts to make sure that they get that front. Roll up about seven o'clock, the hour before the signature begins. Person, 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 totaling 30 people. And now they only do 75 guaranteed. 30 people roll up right to the front of the line, take all the signatures. We barely get the line to start to move. Barely, right at eight o'clock, 8.30 rolls up. Lady comes down. She's a volunteer with the staff. Just letting you guys know, Marita San's done. No more signatures left. What? Excuse me? Like, I didn't even get close. I wasn't even anywhere close. And we have pictures of all of this, you know, how far back everybody was, all the people in the front. So I was just completely blown away. I didn't know what happened. I had no idea what was going on. So that's when I click over to Reddit. Let's take a look here. This is the first post that I saw. So it says, after waiting overnight for Marita tickets, some people snuck in the front. As soon as it opened, I saw it stuck with standby number four. So this person waited overnight, poor Owenata. And because of the bleach panel, it was actually the Viz panel that he was doing that day. He had to go, like I was saying. They have other obligations to go and do. And this is when we get our first little taste of drama with it right here. Jin WT Cosplay comes in. He says, the people who are working to basically bring in entire squads to cut the line at the last minute have the system on lock. If you can have 100 people find their way to the front of the lines and nobody says anything, then they're just going to keep doing it. Conflict aversion leaves bad outcomes, of course, because nobody wants to be the bad guy. The security people and the, they actually had some police officers on there as well. They don't get paid to deal with that. They do not get paid enough to deal with the amount of rage that people are going to have. They were on the first day we were there. People were kind of in the good smile company line and somebody started having a screaming fit over being told that they couldn't be in that line and they cut. So it's nobody, nobody wants to deal with that. And this we go, I got what I want except for Marita because I'm not going to camp out 14 hours to maybe beat some dudes who are willing to flaunt the rules. Not worth it, which was how I was feeling as well. So this is me down here. I'm asking, what time did you wait? This guy waited around 5 p.m. to get standby tickets and still didn't get it. Now he's going to try again at 3 p.m. And this is where we're helping people asking what's going on, what's going on. Some people are so rude, waiting in line for concerts, they people are cutting. Whole thing all messed up. 
Now, let's go to the next day. So this is actually, you know what, still Saturday, all right? And I'm like, I so badly want to sing. He's like the GOAT to me. I fucking love Bleach. If you've not seen the haul video from this year's Anime Expo, I bought almost nothing but Bleach items here. I would have loved to get a signature, but I still got to see him in the Bleach panel front row. I still got to shake his hand after the panel. It was an amazing experience. Would have loved to get a signature, but that didn't happen. So the second day that he was signing signatures was going to be Monday. So obviously people were lining up on Sunday. And so it was immediately just a shit show, just entirely a shit show. Sunday night, we had people, we strolled by, it was probably five o'clock. We were strolling by to head over to our Novo Anime Summer Fest. And there was already a group, a cluster of chairs, like lawn chairs, like you would see at a baseball game. Umbrellas, lawn chairs, sleeping bags. People already clustered up, taking all the spots in line to be front in line to get Marita's signature. That's what everybody was here for. I had no idea he was gonna be such like a hard grab. So we sat, we waited, we talked to some people there. They were very nice. I don't think these are the guys from day one that were maliciously taking, you know, hostage of the line and holding it for 30 people. But they were equally frustrated with what happened the first day. I guess some of them even camped out the first time that Marita was signing signatures. And that's where we got explained where security has already been informed what's going on. There was two lines that were being formed because security just didn't know what was going on. So there was one line that we were in. There was another line that spurred out towards the uh, uh, the crypto arena. And people were just slotting themselves in, just going in. And then, of course, we have everybody's friends where, you know, you're holding a spot for three or four or five people in line. And obviously, they're just going to swarm or swarm right in, go right to the front. What can you do at that stage? Obviously, it's a hard system in I don't know what the solution is. I think some sort of a raffle system needs to be put in place for this. But how can you stop people if it's a line management system? How can you stop people from holding spots for their friends? It's the whole point of going to these conventions. So here's a little bit of a look for the second night that he was signing signatures. This is the day before. So this is Sunday night. Monday morning is when the tickets will be sold for his second signing. This is the same time that the bleach panel is happening. As you can see, we have a little bit of calm. This is 10 p.m. the day before. 10 p.m. And there's already a line all the way wrapped back, all the way around here. People have pillows, blankets. People are waiting good to go. Odds are, if you're at this part, you're still not getting in. It's just not not a chance. So uh, people came outside. My boyfriend was there at 10 p.m. last night for Chance Marina. And despite that, they ran out the first half hour of distribution because of people who had been camping out since noon yesterday, which is that video that I was showing you. I'll play it again right here. They were there 3 p.m. 3 p.m. And each one of them were saying like, oh, it's just for us. It's just for us. But when the time came, two, three people per, they swamp out all the tickets. Why would you not? If you have people that you know in the front, why are you not going to let them in? And it says not fair to people who enjoy the con normally. And that's how I was feeling. I had an opportunity to wait in that line. We were there really early and they were like, hey, come join us. Like get in this line. It was like, we'll sit right here. We have chairs. We're going to go. We had one of those collapsible chairs. Totally join us. Like they were super nice, super communicative. They were not mean people. These people on the second day, the first day, we'll get into some drama about that coming up. But the second day, they were just slighted by what happened the first time. They caused, they made like a Spartan unit and they were holding down the front of the line. Is it fair? Is it something to be expected if you want this guy's signature that you have to give up basically a day and a half of your anime expo convention that you pay for? It's not. It's not. And really the play to be, I don't know if they were checking badges even to buy these tickets because I never even got up there. But imagine you have a friend that's not going to Anime Expo. You're like, hey, you sit in that line. I'm going to go enjoy. Then we'll swap out. And then we'll both get a signature. We'll both get two signatures. I'll go in there and return. I'll pull two signatures for you. We'll be good to go. And here's where we get the first little bit of drama. For me, there's a group of 39 people working together to get all the Marita autograph tickets on both sessions. I don't think both days were the same people. I'm going to come in from personal experience. I spoke to the people on the second day. I don't think they were with the first guy. The moment the day's ticket distribution ends, the group had their mom line up for them, placing their camping chairs as a, as a placeholder. When I came by, everybody was sitting in the chairs. They were not empty. They would then let their friends cut around 6 to 7 a.m. I didn't even stop by 6 to 7 a.m. because I gave up at that point. I ain't as dedicated as that. I have other things I'm going to go do. It just wasn't worth giving up all that time to do that. Um, I took the juice to hold the front lines during the Friday line for Saturday. So this was the first signing one right here. At least these scumbags were open about the ski schemes. Still can't believe they were holding spots for Saturday and Monday shamelessly. I mean, if not, uh, nothing proves the next time. You think about it from an anime expo standpoint, right? What went wrong this year? Nothing. Nothing. There was, I don't think anybody got trampled. There was no outrageous scandal from what I've heard. And they oversold. They sold as many tickets as they possibly could. Why would they change the system? Everybody was happy in terms of event staff, in terms of the uh, guests of honor. I did not hear any negative stuff. I did see a couple people saying that Marita commented on his first signing session and said it was a little bit awkward, 
We'll get into that. They mostly got Funko Pop signed too. Interesting point here. We're going to hold on to that later. Here's stuff about the San Diego Comic-Con where they use a lottery system, which that's kind of makes sense. And it needs to be linked to your badge. That's the only thing that I can say. This someone's just moved the chairs. You don't want to do that. You don't want to start conflict. You don't want to be that guy. Now let's go back here. This person right here says that they confirmed they have video and photos of these scumbags. Scalpers Saturday, which was the big drama day, let 30 people jump in front of them. They gave Marita autograph both days with the Funko Pops and the cover. And then I had to go through hell to see him on Sunday just to make new friends. Whatever. Scalpers threatened me when I confronted them peacefully. If I was worried about getting kicked out, causing a lot of violence where I would have stood my ground, I don't take disrespect lightly. They complain about being victimized when they are actively doing shady stuff. So let's head on to the really drama part about the scalpers on day one so this is another post right here where they're talking about wanting to get the ichigo voice actor signature and that scalpers are involved and we're going to click on this twitter thread we're going to go up there's pictures and everything about this this is one of the things that happened that made the standby list being unable to get signed apparently they didn't get through to the, uh, the apparently they didn't even get to go through the priority 75 people because marita was fine was forced to sign multiple items and the staff couldn't do anything about it so that is when the staffing does need to step in and start telling people no. Simple as that. I did have a good experience this year at Anime Expo with the staff and the security being really tight on lines for the main event. They were straight up telling people no cutting. They were cutting them off. They were getting them to the back of the line. They did fantastic. That was a big problem for me last year. This is something that definitely needs to be improved for next year. So now we have this Twitter thread by Mafuchu where she brings up the deets. The deets of what happened day one, the 30 people cutting a line, the Funko Pop resellers, the whole thing. So we have dark pops here. Now, this is obviously a he said, she said situation. You're more than welcome to sell what you get signed. That's totally thing. There's no rules about that. Here it is, Ichigo Pop that was signed by Marita. And you can see for sales trade plus cash. I only really need one. So DM me, new season comes out, Bankai and Kanji. Um, just proof that's legit. He has a picture of him. We go, apparently two people were holding spots for 30 people or so. Apparently they have a whole Funko group, Chaos team. So this is the post that they're talking about here. I'm done with anime expo time for rest. I barely slept the past three days camping out for the event. Shout out to all the people who helped. I want to tag y'all. We made it. So this is just somebody saying that they camped out for all the events. We have no hard proof that this is a 30 plus person thing. Here's some of the people that are assigned. Now you can see not for sale. Japanese voice actor for Ichigo Kurosaki. Marita absolutely fantastic to meet him. There's nothing in the meat and potatoes here. This is a story that was repeated over and over by multiple people that were there that I spoke to that this happening. Continuing on here, like one person somehow ended up with two signed Funkos, which is true from the post that we first saw here. He only needs one and you're only supposed to have one thing signed per autograph session. As you can see right here, the pop and the poster are both signed. You were such a kind person. I love your work. Let me give him a hug. I was so nervous to meet him. Thanks to the homie. He got a picture of me. And then we see again, signing the Funko pop here. Another one ready with his Funko pop case. Good to go. And his two things signed up right here that's a big no-no you're not supposed to and obviously the typical train of the Japanese people being very nice trying not to you know ruin your day they're not gonna say no but that's where the AX staff needs to step in like you're kind of hired to be the bad guy at that point here's where we get that quote some of the people disrespecting Marita and his translator apparently they didn't get to go through the 75 people and he was forced to sign multiple items and the staff couldn't do anything about it a simple say no solves that problem my friends who were in line for other guests said someone even tried to scalp a signed funko while in the autograph line a beautiful one over here Marita mentioned that the experience during his panel and it was awkward and that's, you know, of course, you don't want to hear that, but it's sometimes awkward to interact with the fans. One person tried to call the group out while also in line, and the group apparently called the cops and got the person who called them escorted out. Don't know how that Uno reverse card happened, but there was a lot of drama that first day. I know I saw a lot of it happening. And of course, sorry for the rant, disrespect to say you, you know. And this is just the last little bit here. A should step in with security staff, which I agree 110%. And this is someone confirming I was there since 1.30 p.m. These scalpers had 40 people with them. One of them had their mom sit and place chairs on the line once the 1 p.m. distribution was over. When we heard nothing, what happened on Sunday morning, we camped out to watch these scalpers overnight. The audacity to try and sell Marita's autograph ticket for $600 plus to the people who were in line 12 plus hours me. So the security is fine yelling at people for cosplay gatherings that are nowhere near over capping. Our lovely security from Black Knight Panther should have told they did not care. Here's my thoughts on what happened because I was there. I spoke to some of the people that were there for the second signing. Anime Expo is at fault. Obviously, if there is a system to game, the system is going to be gamed. It happens time and time again. That's just how it goes. If you're doing a line, there's a limited amount. People know this high in demand. There's money to be made there. It's going to happen. It's going to happen every single time. There's no stopping it either. So the system has to be changed. It's got to be raffles. It's got to be lottery system. You can win it somehow. Anything like that. And obviously, even when that happens, there's still a chance to game it. Link it to your badges. There's still a chance to give your badges to somebody else. Should people have been holding the spot for 30 people? No. Should they have been getting in line for these passionate fans only for them to turn around and resell it? Obviously not. Obviously, that shouldn't be a thing. But what is the solution? They would have to hire a super specific security who knows how the system is going, how to watch the whole thing, what they're looking out for, how to stop these people. But how do you stop someone like if you're, let's say, doing a 
three person team. They fucked off to go use the bathroom. Now they're not allowed to get back in line. I wish I could have got a signature, but there the system was rigged from the start, man. And it's, it wasn't rigged towards the people. AX didn't care enough to implement a better system, and they just let the signatures go to the dogs. Unfortunately, that's just how it goes. If you guys were there and got a signature somehow, I would love to hear how you did it, your side of the story. If even if you didn't get a signature, let me know what you thought. Because like I said, we spoke to some of them and heard them. They the people on the second day they spoke to security and had security primed and ready to go. They were not messing around, but. I don't know if it was the same people that had their mom just place all those chairs there because when we went by 5 p.m. They were all occupied. The chairs were all good to go. It seems like most of the drama happened from the first day and then the second day people went absolutely ape shit like it was a PS5 release day and they just camped out overnight. What do you guys think? How do they fix it? How do they do this going forward? Hopefully it's just a lottery system is what I'm banking for. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was interesting to see. If you want to see the Anime Expo Hall, I have a video for that. And if you want to see my general thoughts on Anime Expo 2023, AKA the biggest line con to ever exists, be sure to check out that other video. And thank you guys so much for hanging out. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys next time. Bye everybody.